Oh, that's an excellent start to a vlog. Death. Um. Pretty much sums up how I've been feeling since since last Wednesday, though. Um. Crap. I know. Oh. I I just refound my uh, homemade hard candy. Not homemade by me, homemade by some guy I bought it from. Um, but definitely, you know, like, hand-mixed in his kitchen. Well, it's just not nearly as creepy as it sounds. And it is, um, I always mispronounce this, anise flavored, which is, like, my one of my favorite flavors. I always hated it growing up because we had this American black licorice it's basically like a little bit of flavoring and then plastic and wax and it's disgusting and then as an adult when I went over to Germany the second time I uh, I got half a kilo of salted black licorice and I was like that looks disgusting why would you get salted black licorice but I got it as a present I didn't want to insult anyone so I was like all right, well, I'll try it now. This is pretty good. I think I'll take some home. Give it to my friends and family. My cousin threw up. It's not really a common American taste, I don't think. Um, what else was I going to say? Uh, I ought to be in class. I just got out of the shower, which is why I'm naked. You can't really tell I'm naked. It looks like I might just, you know, not be wearing a shirt, but no, I'm naked. Now everyone knows. The ladies. Sorry, that was creepier than it ought to have been. Um, I'm wearing my glasses, so you can't really tell because of the uh, glare. But that's what my eye looks like now. And it's still pretty bad. I don't know how well you can see it, because every time I look down to see how well you can see it, yeah, you know, I'm looking down. It's no longer on the webcam. Um, but yesterday it was like blood red and disgusting and swollen shut. I had to pry my eye open actually this eye and then I couldn't hear out of this ear and now I can hear and see the uh, smell just fine um still having trouble swallowing and I can hardly breathe out my nose so I'm getting better um and my fever broke like a week ago so this is just I'm on the mend Um, and it occurs to me that not many people actually knew I was ill. I hope the audio is okay. I just remember that I was having trouble with it last night. But yeah, Trista called me at 8 a.m. And I was like, oh good, I had to be up. So then we talked for about an hour and then I was like, well, crap, now I need a shower. And I took so long showering that it was past time. Because I'm sick. You can't yell at me for taking long showers when you're sick. You, you just can't. You can't help it. You lose track of time and fall asleep in the shower. Stuff like that. Not that I fall asleep in the shower. But, yeah, healthy. It's probably a bad thing that I can't remember whether or not I fell asleep in the shower, huh? Anyway. I am no longer so jacked up on cold medicine that I can't think straight. But I think that that is a valid life choice. You know, being so jacked up on cold medicine that you can't think straight. It just occurred to me that my bedroom light is not on, which makes me look really washed out because I've got the light from the monitor and then in this direction. I've got my window, which is closed, but is also the only light source, really. For this room. Well, five minutes already. Um, 
What else is going on? Oh! I don't want to dedicate this vlog to the word vlog. I, You know what? Yes, I do. I keep saying I'm going to do a vlog on it, and then I never do. I hate the word vlog. It's snuck into my vocabulary. Like a creepy, creepy, and crap. Um, my issue is it, with it is that the word blog came from the term weblog, which didn't initially mean journals and live journal and MySpace articles and etc. But it came to me, it came to mean that, and I'm alright with that. But now, the word vlog is video weblog, but you've dropped the B. It's just video log, which makes a certain amount of sense, but it's still online. But vlog is too hard to pronounce. So I have issue with the fact that you've just omitted an entire word from this abbreviation. It's snuck into my vocabulary, though. I'm not going to be one of those snotty people that are like, I hate internet terms. Although I can't stand when people seriously say LOL in conversation. Or BTW, except for a rare occasion, or BRB, or GTG. You're speaking. I can understand if they're not. I hate chat speak to begin with. The, the, all the letters and acronyms and abbreviations. But you're speaking. Say the words. And as a linguist, I can appreciate that the language needs to change. The English language cannot remain stagnant or it dies. That's the definition of a dead language. It's a language that is no longer evolving. Latin. Um, Sanskrit. Why can't I think of any other dead languages right now? But that's the definition of a language. It's a language that is no long, longer evolving. I think Hawaiian might be considered. I'm not sure on that one, though. So any native Hawaiians or people who are a better linguist than I stumble upon this. Sorry, I'm playing with my desk that is broken. So that's the trim from my desk. I've gotten it torqued at a 90 degree angle and about two and a half feet above my desk in this. So it's clearly broken. Um, if any, you know, if any native Hawaiians stumble upon this, I'm not saying that you, your language has failed to evolve. I just don't know. I haven't heard any new terms. I need more candy because it's helping my throat. Um, holy crap. Almost nine minutes. Those are my most common rants. Also, the um, chat room slang, or I'm in general, I'm not a fan of acronyms unless they're intentional, like Shield for comic book nerds, or like unless the word has become part of the English language, like sonar, scuba, laser. Um, but like, my cousin told me one time, she's like, oh, I'm so excited for Potsy 3. I'm like, Potsy? What the fuck? And then she explained, oh, it's Pirates of the Caribbean 3. This was a couple years ago, and I was like, it took longer. For you to explain to me what the hell you were talking about because you're an idiot, then it does to say the words. Almost 10 minutes, so I'm going to let you guys go. Bye.